fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you the technique of lace insertion. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. The technique of inserting lace onto your fashion fabric really is about making the lace part of your fabric. So you can buy fab lace that is any width I've got a strip of lace here, any pattern design and all it is a case of is just sewing the lace onto your fabric. The first tip I'm going to be showing you when working with lace is I've got two lengths here. This is the one I'm going to be using in the um, example and this is what I've cut it from a length here. And the thing is to make it more manageable the best thing to do is to spray it with starch. So I've got the lace here that I I actually cut it from and this is the one that's got starch so you can see the difference between the two this is a lot more stiffer and you want that because it makes it a lot more manageable when you come to sew it onto your fabric working on the right side of your fabric place the wrong side of your lace onto your fabric so therefore you've got the right side of your lace and the right side of your fabric and then pin into place you're going to be pinning on both sides of the lace so I'll just pin along here and then take it to my sewing machine and I'll show you the next step. I'm just using a straight stitch here and you're going to sew quite close to the edge of your lace. Just come up a bit and now keep going and if you do find that you are coming against problems where the lace is lifting a bit just pull your feet up and do what I've done here it's all about the, the lace you're sewing with so um, you may come across this pre problem you may not another one there down and you can see the reason why I starched my lace before I began because I would have had a lot more problems if I hadn't now sew my, my lace into place so I've got straight stitches on either side the next thing for me to do is turn my work to the wrong side and then I'm going to be cutting one centimeter seams um, along each side of the lace which is about a quarter of an inch so you just tuck your scissors inside and then just judge what you think one centimetre seam allowance is and cut that away and do the same on the opposite side actually I'm going to turn it this way because this allows me to judge it a lot better and then once I've done this the next step is to take it to my ironing board and press the seams away from the lace So I'll get rid of that strip and then I'm going to press these seams in this direction. The seam allowance have now been pressed away from the lace and the next thing for me to do is take it to my sewing machine and zigzag those into position. I'm working on the right side of my fabric and the reason is you really want to see what your stitching is doing because remember you are working with the design of the lace. So I'm working with a small zigzag stitch and because I'm working with a small zigzag stitch it can take quite a long time. Um, it depends on the area that you're actually inserting the lace but just take your time and let your machine happily zigzag away. You're now looking at the wrong side of my work and here we have the seam allowance and we need a seam allowance that looks like this so what I've done is trim it away as close as possible to the row of zigzag stitching so that there's less bulk and it makes it a lot more lighter and um, garment to actually work with and this is what it looks like on the right side obviously I'm using contrasting thread so if you be using white then this would feel as though it's part of the design of the actual lace there we have it lace insertion so you're making I suppose in a way you're making your own fabric because what you've done is you've made the lace as part of your actual fabric you can either as you can see with my hands it becomes like a little bit see-through or if you wanted to line it you can give it a great contrast 
working with lace can add that gorgeous elegance to any sewing project especially working with bridal wear and lingerie so if you do want to work with the lace as an insertion as I've shown you an example you can also add a backing to it or just wear it as is and just leave it so that it's actually a little bit transparent the choice is yours if you have any questions or queries please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time